it's basically emulating uh, eye tracking. There is a, a dot in the middle, which means we are calculating where the cornea is, so the absolute middle of your eyes. And we use that then to merge it with the front camera, so we know in real time where you're looking at. We extracted our core component from our existing system, and this is now our so-called ESM22. ESM stands for Eye Sensor Module, and it has all the relevant technology integrated, cameras plus infrared LEDs. The eyes are the mirror of the soul, meaning your eyes give away a lot of information, a lot of, of, of emotion. And if we can develop our technology to, to the level that we understand what you feel while looking at something. We offer uh, a solution that is called BMO Pathfinder. It's uh, what we call uh, indoor GPS. It's a VPS, a visual positioning system. And we are using a robot dog to take our solution to the next level and allows people to capture a site without going there. So remotely, they can activate the dog and the dog will do the digital twin for them. So digital twin is basically a virtual replica of a physical space, like a factory, a data center, or a plane, by giving this 3D workspace, this immersive environment for them to move in uh, from the entrance of the building to the actual source of the issue or the project that they want to kind of uh, collaborate on. They can do it remotely without going on site. And in this pandemic situation, it's key. Hollow Suite is an editing tool for volumetric video. If you're not familiar with volumetric video, it is basically a full three-dimensional copy of a human performance. You have this unique ability to capture the true and actual motion of a person and all of their nuances, including like how their skin moves, the, the subtle eye darts and gestures they make when they're thinking and talking that you just can't simulate with pure computer graphics. So basically we're bringing humans to the metaverse. We have a platform for creating what we call metaverses. And what a metaverse is, it's this 3D multi-user experience, kind of like a video game, but this multi-user experience where companies and enterprises can bring their content. So I do believe that in 10 years for certain that this, these 3D virtual worlds will be as common as web pages. So it'll be a very familiar thing to go into this 3D experience and interact with different products, interact with your friends, and not only on your computer or your iPad, but these headsets, these different VR devices, and then these different AR glasses coming online. It's going to be a very wild trip.